What's going on guys welcome back to the channel hopefully you guys are having yourself a great sunday we have a very important video today and this is going to be the most important week in recent history for bitcoin now why is this because the sec has a decision to make this week about the spot bitcoin etf approval it's either going to be approved or denied and either way we're going to see a significant amount of volatility in the market this week not just for the stock market but more specifically for the crypto market even more specifically for bitcoin all right now before we get into this video if you haven't yet smash the hell that like button engage with the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys get notified for videos just like this let's break this down guys i'm gonna kick things off with a post that i made earlier today for some of you guys who aren't aware of it we have been making you know several different a plus swings in our trading community here since the beginning of october until now roughly uh 13 14 weeks now and we've gone 26 for 26 and i've broken down exactly what i look for what trades i like and you know the different process of finding trades and really making sure that we have the mechanisms down pat in a tweet so feel free to take a look at that or an x message whatever the heck people want to call it these days since the name of the social media platform changed but i still call it twitter but we don't call it twitter anymore anyways that being said guys all the information is there we have gone you know a, a pretty good route in regards to making sure we do um find the best setups there by having a solid plan ahead of us for example with paypal we did have a nice write-up i wrote it up about you know a month ago i wrote it, i had a nice wrap again this week as well we did have a pinged out entry for the exact calls and fill price for the play we had a beautiful move there in the first few hours i was up 15 17 18 20 percent at certain times several other individuals were up much more seeing as they got shorter time frames or they got a better entry than i did which happens all the time and i want to you know really state this because the overall goal for this channel is the fact that people's time is valuable they do not always have time to get into 15 16 different trades so if they only have time to get into one trade it's just simply our job as people in the community to provide them with an a plus setup to give them the best opportunity to really get a good uh, risk of reward setup so if you guys are interested guys in trading with us every single day like we do link in the description below 50 cents a day for the trial that price does go up next quarter so jump in now while the prices are still as they stand okay moving forward guys taking a look at this we did get news that blackrock is is expected to invest as much as 10 million dollars worth of bitcoin into their etf to really kick things off now personally speaking i know blackrock's got a lot of money i know this 10 million dollars for blackrock is not a huge bag there now it is a start it is maybe going to be one of the biggest spot bitcoin etfs on the market at the beginning but i do think that you know the the volatility and the price action for bitcoin is not a given anything can happen here right so you know in this article here on coin telegraph you can see i'll read a little bit of it blackrock the world's largest asset manager and one of the front runners in the race to issue the first spot, spot bitcoin etf fund the etf the united states is expected to purchase 10 million dollars worth of bitcoin on january 3rd according to an analyst so now obviously it didn't happen on january 3rd um as this was written out as least, at least the spot bitcoin approval didn't happen on january 3rd they might have bought bitcoin but they don't really have any place to really you know show the exposure yet until the spot bitcoin etf gets approved so keep your eyes peeled on the news updates as this week does progress because this week there will be decision from what it sounds like one way or another nothing is for certain but it, there will be decision from what it sounds like this week about either approval or access denied across the board for all spot point spot bitcoin etfs which will definitely create some sort of volatility if there is approval to me, this could begin to start trading as early as the following week, as late as I will give or, give or take around 30 to 45 days afterwards. I do not expect it to take that long for people to you know have access to these spot Bitcoin ETFs. So I do expect Bitcoin to really have you know at least two moves, significant moves for then. Kathy Wood has also confirmed that she believes there will be an approval this week. And it's currently January 7th. So in between now and January 10th, we're looking to get an answer here from the SEC. Okay, now getting into Bitcoin right now. Looking at this on the monthly, there's a huge level of resistance that we seem to be just knocking our head at, okay? Roughly that $45,000 level. So I'm looking for one of two things here. It's either it gets approved or it doesn't. If it does not get approved, Bitcoin, in my personal opinion, will pull back down towards that $35,000 level at minimum. If it gets approved, it's still 50-50. So this is really two options for the downside, one option for the upside. If it gets approved, it could be sell the news, buy the hype, sell the news. It comes back down towards that, you know, that EMA here on the monthly, right around that $35,000, $36,000 level. Maybe we see some institutions start to accumulate a little bit, and then you have this longer, you know, move towards the upside with, of course, a lot of volatility along the way. Or you could also see it just seemingly rip. Both of them are very likely scenarios here, guys. I would say this is actually 50-50. Now, personally speaking, I could definitely see there being a pullback before ultimately seeing more upside because I don't think Wall Street likes to buy any asset at 52-week highs. That's just not how Wall Street does. Sometimes they like to mark things up 
get retail to buy in, sell it off, and then start really accumulating it from the lows. So I think, you know, Wall Street, one way, shape, form, or another, will be waiting for there to be a significant dip there with Bitcoin to really start loading up on their specific spot Bitcoin ETF funds. So they do have, you know, a great entry because one way to guarantee themselves a lot of profitability and longevity in the future is to get themselves a better entry now. Now, that really means, you know, if they can enter Bitcoin, if they haven't already scooped up tons and tons and tons of it in around that thirty-three dollars to $30,000 level, that would allow them to be, even if it were to get back up towards 50, that would allow them to be, you know, up 50% on their investment by the time it gets towards 50K. Now, if this thing just rips and does not come back, they have to start accumulating at 50 to 60K. They'd be roughly break even at that same price point, right? So there's a, a significant amount of, of upside if there can be a significant amount of volatility and a little bit of you know fear in the market to really help institutions accumulate at a much lower price point. Keep that part in mind because that is what's going to be moving the market, all right? Now, I do want to take a look at the SPY, the Qs, and Mara, and a couple other positions here. So let's, let's get into this right now. Okay, the SPY has seen the first red week in a long period of time, which simply means it looks like a healthy pullback at this time. Personally speaking, I do have a couple levels here highlighted, 464 to 465. Oh, and a quick reminder, if you haven't yet, guys, smash the like button, engage the video, and also more information on trading, guys, link in the description below, because at the end of that trial, the price will change and it is not going to come back down. Okay. Right now, guys, 464 to 465 is exactly where the spy came back down to test on Friday. That was the FOMC level. That was the trading range for the FOMC day all the way back on Wednesday, December 13th. So as long as the bulls can maintain price action above this level, to me, it is still a healthy pullback in the market. I am expecting to see more upside back towards that 473 level. For the queues, look, at the cues i'm gonna pull this up on the i'm not the daily actually i'm gonna pull this up on the weekly i want you guys to take a look at this okay we saw ourselves looking at a pretty high volume self there on the cues now the reason why i'm saying it's a high volume self there despite the fact that the volume candle is not that high is because it was a pretty high volume sell-off and last week was a short week okay the previous short week the last short week that we saw was a week right before last week Okay, so we had one week that started on Tuesday, December 26, which was Boxing Day, and then we had last week that started on Tuesday, January 2nd, which was basically just after New Year's. Okay, the week before this basically saw volume coming in at roughly 66% of the amount of volume we saw two weeks ago, we saw last week. This week saw a significant increase, it was still only four days worth. If we had five days for this last week of the queues, we probably would have seen the highest sell volume we would have gotten since roughly October which is where we saw the market at its most recent bottom, okay? So just to kind of put things into, into perspective there, that was a pretty high volume sell day there for the queues. As you guys can see there, that holiday week to last week, significant difference. So I really want to see if the queues can hold up over that 392 to 393 range come this week, all right? So that to me will be a huge level to watch there. I do think the Bitcoin news from the SEC will definitely have an effect on the market, um, positive or negative. So we'll, we'll keep our eye out for that as well. But um, Make sure you guys are not leaving anything in the market you guys cannot afford to lose overnight because we have no idea what time of day, what time of night, or even what day we are going to have, you know, figure out about this news here, okay? The top stocks to watch for me, as you guys I'm sure already know, for the, you know, uh, exposure to Bitcoin in regards to um, the mining stocks is Mara right now, currently coming back down. It tested that neckline. It looks great here. Currently sitting at 24 bucks. On the downside for Mara, if this does get denied, I could see a pullback down towards 20, if not 60. 1650. On the upside, I'm looking for 40. Now, you guys might be thinking to yourself, that's a very wide range. Of course, I have broken it down in more detail in some prior videos, so feel free to check that out. But in, in short, I will put it like this, right? We saw a beautiful move here to the upside, roughly a 125% move there with, uh, sorry, a 225% move there with the shares over a, a very short amount of time. After that, we saw a significant pullback down towards that neckline, a healthy pullback, if you will, and we broke back up towards the upside, and now we have an inside day here on Friday. If we can break and hold above 25 and we get a spot Bitcoin uh, approval from the SEC as well as a positive move from Bitcoin, I could see this thing hitting 29.32 within hours if Bitcoin does have a substantial move towards the upside. Now, that being said, if it has a, a negative move and moves back down towards the downside, 
that same movement here up towards, you know, a 35% move, an $8 move here could also see some push on the downside, okay? An $8 move to the downside leads back towards 16 bucks. So please keep that part in mind, guys. Depending on how Bitcoin moves off of the news it will really have a huge effect on Mara. I do think this is probably one of the better stocks to accumulate, personally speaking, you know, not financial advice, just the way that I'm doing things, but to each their own. Um, that is where I want to leave Mara right now. The other one I want to look at, guys, is Riot. Riot's chart is not looking as bullish as Mara. What I would say is this, though, a very low volume sell candle here on Friday worthwhile watching to me if it can break and hold back over that 1686 level there okay so ladies and gentlemen gentlemen ladies that's what we got for you guys right now we went over the spot we went over the queues we know where some of the top mining stocks as well the news for bitcoin exactly what to expect coming up this week and of course if you want more information on trading guys i did just put out a one hour weekly watch this video for the discord links in the description below 15 cents per day guys it's a great time to get in before this market does get volatile this week all right much love guys i'll see you guys in the next video probably tomorrow after hours deuces